Thank you very much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. This is kind of wild, but this stuff does happen. This is an asteroid that is going to pass between the Earth and the orbit of the moon. So inside of the moon, between the Earth and the moon, by tomorrow afternoon on our Saturday afternoon at about 351 Eastern U.S. time. So again, tomorrow afternoon, Saturday afternoon, this asteroid is going to cut right between the Earth and the moon, a very sizable asteroid. We're talking about over 300 feet wide. I'm putting more information on this on Earth QC. I'll put the link to that YouTube channel. You could subscribe to that. I'll put the link in the description and in the comments again on YouTube on Earth QC. I want to give you some information though on this. And again, this is from NASA. This asteroid is called 2023, asteroid 2023 DZ2. They just have to dub them uh, certain things, of course. And this will be about a hundred thousand miles away. That's about 170 kilometers away. Relatively speaking, that is pretty close. The speed it's going 28,000 kilometers an hour. This thing is flying, of course, literally. Uh, it is, that's also about 17,000 miles per hour. And again, this is going to be uh, making a closer approach by tomorrow afternoon. And they're going to try to study this very carefully with the uh, planet uh, planetary defense uh, team to see, uh, you know know how they can handle these things if they make a closer approach and by the way this same asteroid is going to make uh, potentially a closer approach three years from now in 2026 so we're going to be talking about this same one but again get over to youtube i've got the link there in the description and in my comments earth qc a lot of information on that just how close it's going to be and i'm going to show it to you in real time on earth qc how it's kind of headed toward uh earth but it will pass between the moon and the earth on our saturday afternoon all right let's get back to the forecast for today and you see not a lot i talked about the drought conditions in yesterday's video now as we go throughout the day spotty shower nicaragua el salvador honduras belize jamaica a very limited chance of rain for us the next few days. A passing shower, Jamaica and the Cayman Islands on our Saturday afternoon. Same thing, Puerto Rico, the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, Cuba mainly dry. Haiti, we could see a shower on the southern coast by Jock Mel. Trinidad and Tobago, Barbados, St. Lucia, spotty showers with that easterly flow tomorrow. Colombia watching us, northern tier, not a lot of action going on. Guyana and Suriname though, by the time we get into Sunday, the rain chance gets a little bit higher. Eastern Caribbean, a touch more active on Sunday with a passing shower. And again, Jamaica, Cayman Islands, one or two, and just some spotty showers. Colombia, Panama, Costa Rica, Nicaragua, the ABC Islands, Aruba, Curacao, Bonaire. We've had a few showers the last couple days nearby, not many, but that has helped some. So Barbados today, about a 30% chance of a passing shower. Winds east at 32 kilometers an hour, 29 degrees Celsius for today. My friends in St. Lucia, again, this will be the same as we go throughout the weekend, especially on Sunday, a chance of some passing showers. It'll be breezy, winds east at 32 kilometers an hour or 20 miles per hour. And of course, staying on the warm side overall. So St. Lucia, some passing showers will be a possibility my friends in Trinidad and Tobago, rain chance about 20% today. Yeah, about a 30% chance tomorrow, but a 30 to 40% chance on Sunday. 29 degrees, winds east at 24 kilometers an hour. So I'll keep an eye on that rain chance and of course those drought conditions. But watching that close approach from that meteor as we get into this weekend. Now, can you see it? It's, it's very hard uh, to see. You'd have to have a higher powered telescope to see it uh, tomorrow uh, in some spots. Uh, with that said, again, much more information over on Earth QC. Limited chance of showers for us as we go throughout the Caribbean, uh, Bahamas, Gulf of Mexico. The wildfire threat is increasing. Thank you for leaving those comments, filling me in on some of that where you are. Uh, that's why I do this channel, so we can have this weather community. Let me know the weather where you are. And again, this drought collapse deep into April. I'm researching that when we'll get a better chance of some rain. And I'm going to have more videos on that, that longer term outlook as we get closer to the hurricane season. But for now, head over to EarthQC, the link in the description and in the comments. I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend.